Right then. And we are back. It's Silver, your host, for this evening's way later than planned, but is going to happen no matter what live stream. So we have one person in. That's good. We'll wait a couple of minutes to see if anybody else comes in to join us. Perfect time of coming back. I just had to start reinstalling all my MGS5 mods. Ah, good man, good man. Glad to have you back. Here's hoping some of the other guys and girls will trickle in along the way. Yeah, I called it right, dude. It was my service provider. Because my connection just flat out died for a straight hour. Like, seriously, after resetting the router, the connection just died. Completely. It took it took resetting the router again and waiting about 45 minutes for the connection to come back. I did a bit of research once it came back as well. I know why it's been so slow. Have you been have you been noticing drops in connection yourself? Well, I'll tell you what it is. Not only have internet service providers given well, most major internet service providers, including mine, completely removed everybody's data caps during this whole situation. So everybody has got completely unlimited usage of the internet in this time, whatever the weather. They are also having to piggyback connections in order to ensure stability with the sheer influx of inf yeah influx of people on the internet right now so you've got a bunch of people surfing the internet with no data restrictions on an infrastructure that just can't handle it hence why we've all had connection drops and i've essentially been running at about what would essentially be half two thirds to half of the internet speed i usually get so there's a bit of research with silver for you, my dude. Here's hoping some of the other guys pop back in. Because we'll... I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll load into the game. And me and you will chat amongst ourselves until more people, you know, arrive. Fuck off, man. No wonder my internet's collapsing on itself. Well, yeah... Unfortunately, what did what did you think would happen if they removed everybody's data caps? Yep. Yeah. It was a recent agreement with the government. They've temporarily agreed to remove everybody's data caps. Well, if it makes you feel any better, we've both had a disaster tonight. Well, I do hope it's a very minor disaster, and everybody in your house is safe and happy right now. I've had two, actually. Well, do tell, but I, again, I do hope they are minor. And everybody in the Kazama household is safe. Tyrell, where's Bard now? Copy. I'll go on ahead. One's minor, one's intermediate. We'll start with the intermediate one first and work backwards. I could do with a bit of light-hearted news towards the end of the topic of disaster and discussion. <clears throat> I've got conjunctivitis. Youch, dude, that's not fun. My sister used to get that when she was little. It really wasn't nice to her eyes, I'll tell you that now. It was really nasty on her eyes. I hope you can still see alright, my dude.
And I do hope the minor one is slightly more bearable by comparison. I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll take out this room of zombies and we'll slowly advance. I do also hope that the connection is stable for you right now. I was hanging a TV bracket last night. Didn't the insul insulation cause it? But having to keep my distance from everyone. Yeah, understandable. It's it's extremely contagious conjunctivitis. Good lord, this assault rifle's weak. No wonder half the UBCS forces died. Hey, we got two of you in now, that's good. Minor one is MGS5 got fucked up a wee bit. Yeah, by comparison, that's the minor one. But to be fair, I'd probably be more, but yeah. Yeah. Down you go, lassie. Down you go. Nobody asked for your intervention. Good. You do feel like a badass with an assault rifle, though, I'm not gonna lie. Quality service satisfaction. Don't get caught off guard. When you notice a worrying symptom, call your doctor. Seek advice. Get the help you need. Drug information. Fulfilling life comes from good health. I fucking wish. Clean your hands. Wash your hands, please. E. F. P. T. O. Z. L. P. L. D. P E G F D Oh god I am actually starting to struggle on the next line down E D F C Z P F R L D P Z D And there's no way I can read anything on the line lower than that Positive I know which mod it is though Umbrella Corporation, making life better. Safsprin, and a very disturbing looking baby. It has the eyes of a hell demon. A happy family is a healthy family, and a happy assault rifle is a reloaded assault rifle. Good. Sorry, I'm just reading all the posters. Cold drinks. Any more posters to read? No smoking. Anywhere, anytime when on hospital grounds. Now you've got to smoke in the designated smoking shelter. Health day, November 24th. 9.30 until 11.30 a.m. You know what's funny? I totally misread that poster, and I almost said what I thought it was out loud. Twitter wouldn't have approved. Which mod is it, dude? Do indulge.
Or which mod do you think it is? Right. We got two of you in again, which is good. We're slowly going to revive this stream from the dead. I'm so sad. I'm so sad that our stream just died like it did. None of them are getting back up. They're all staying nice and quiet. Several clips of submachine gun sorted out. What's up, motherfuckers? If you're wondering why I'm so happy, I just beat Bully. Good man, good man. I've only gotten through the first little bit of that. I haven't played a lot. Charging the... 5 chopper. Oh, sorry. Changing the 5 chopper to ground zero as one. It's the only new mod I've used today. Ah, I see. Yeah, sometimes dodgy mods can break your game. Is that is that a CQBR assault rifle? I imagine it's standard issue for the UBCS. Right. How you doing, Snake? Sorry it took me a little while to get back to it. Please leave me a like, guys, just so we can get this stream moving again. It would be happy to have a couple more people drop in, considering we had so many people in earlier, and then the stream died. I must admit, I do like playing as Carlos. Dr. Bard, are you in there? I'm here to rescue you. Open the door. No voice match found. Voice match? What kind of sci-fi bullshit is this? Yep. One minute. No problem, dude. Take your time. Quality service satisfaction. A patient's best partner. Well, you want it to be good service in America, you've got to pay for your health care. Love that sci fi bullshit line. You and me both, dude. Hey there, zombies. Shared the stream link on Discord. Thank you, Snake. Let's see if we can get a few more people back in, shall we? Oh god, she's getting up. That wasn't intentional. Lock and load, princess. They have that really ridiculous stagger that makes them hard to hit. I love Carlos's voice actor in general. Yeah, I must admit, I really enjoy it as well. God, who used so much ammo. Stay down, lass. Stay down. Another one? Get the fuck off! Get the fuck off! Come on then. Showtime. Down. Hopefully she stays down. Hey fella, aren't you looking so enthusiastic? Nice to see you.
Apparently there's stuff to pick up in here. Still. Oh, it's behind that screen. Glass is bulletproof, apparently. Yeah, I must admit, I'm really enjoying Carlos in this game. His gruff exterior is really quite cool. Glad to see we have three people in. Here's hoping that here's hoping that Mommy and Jared come back. It's buffering again. Really? Please tell me you're joking. Give me a minute, I'll try and fix it on my end. Oh, for the love of the almighty trouser snake. If it goes down, let me know. There's one more thing I can do to fix it. I am not giving up. Come hell high water or the second coming of Alex Salmond. I am... Um going to run this stream tonight. It always wants me that it takes 5 to 15 minutes to notify me. I wonder why it does take 5 to 10, 15 minutes to notify it. Sorry to hear that, Jonathan. I don't mean to upset you in any way right I do wonder because I am I am running the stream on high quality tonight as opposed to regular what I'll do after tonight I'll drop it back down to regular stream quality again. Is yeah, I'm running it on I'm running it on um yeah. <coughs> High quality stream settings tonight. Hello Mr. Zombie. I hear you wanted to get a leg up over the competition. Slash, slash, stab, slash, stab, slash, stab. Good. God, you're running long bullets here, Carlos. It's not your fault, um, man. When I stream, it's three to five minutes to send out notifications. Yeah, sometimes there's delays, you can't stop it, but still. I apologize on behalf of it all the same. I swear, Carlos's pistol is more powerful than his assault rifle. This thing might as well be shooting rubber bullets. When on hospital grounds, no smoking anytime or anywhere. Yeah, what I'm going to do after tonight's stream... I'll drop the stream settings back down to regular stream quality. And see if that improves it. Because you... Well, up until recently, I had no problems running streams on high quality at all. And obviously with the connection tanking. Now I know why. Have you ever played any of the ghost story scenarios on Resident Evil 2 on the channel? Briefly, at the end of one stream, yeah, but I didn't really didn't really take them any further than that. 
Would you like me to play one for you, maybe, Jonathan? I could do that if you really want me to. In fact, it wouldn't be a problem for me at all, good sir. I would quite happily do that for you. Right, let's see where we end up now, guys. Sup, Silver? Hey, Adam's here. What's up, my dude? Pull up a seat. I'm sorry it took so many tries to get the stream working. Hopefully, it's going to be a bit more agreeable this time. I say hopefully. Yeah, you fellas, you fellas pull up a seat for a while, yeah? I actually just joined, and hell, Snake and Jonathan. Indeed, we have Snake, we have Jonathan, we have Jin. No Suki tonight. But I think she's resting up. She might stop by later though. We'll see. Since I know you all like her so much. She's become quite the celebrity on the channel. And it's really nice to see you guys are so accepting of her. She's precious and she's very, very important to me. Right. Simple lot. Yeah, we're going to have to go the other way around. Fine by me. At least we got some assault rifle ammo. But yeah, how are you tonight, Adam? It's been a couple of streams, hasn't it? I hope that Mammy stops in again so I can give her that Discord link. Ooh, tactical grip for the assault rifle. Nice, I would have completely forgotten about that. What he saw, man. I pulled down a tra I pulled down a tree limb that was big, bigger than me today. Well, take it steady, my dude. I don't want you to. I don't want you to hurt yourself at all. A custom part for the assault rifle greatly reduces recoil and gives each shot a more stable trajectory. That's good. We're gonna need that. Looking nice. Looking really nice, actually. Very good. And there's a green herb in here. Snoop Dogg would be happy. A key. It's apparently seen a lot of use. I have to take another one down tomorrow. Then I have to save up for a hatchet so I can chop the wood up. Are you running errands right now? Or are you just doing odd jobs for a bit of money? What's the deal, dude? The, the key to the Spencer Memorial Hospital employee locker room. Be sure to check that out then. The big question is, 
How do we get back? Can we not go back the way we came? Doesn't look like it. Oh. Oh wait, we can. It's just I didn't see that. Running errands, man. Um, it's for my mum. And I wouldn't be doing odd jobs for people because of COVID-19. You've got a point there, dude. You've got a very valid point. But yeah, guys, let me ask you something. It's kind of important, just in relation to the, the stream tonight. Does the stream quality itself actually look any better than usual? Be honest with me. Because if it doesn't really make a difference, I won't be bothering to run it in high, in, in high quality anymore. The ghost stories sound cool. One is a... Oh, the gun shop owner. One is a police officer and one's the mayor's daughter. And people... Yeah. And the other one's the sheriff. Oh yeah, I've played them before, just not really played them much on the channel. I want to finish the mayor's... the, the scenario for the mayor's daughter. Now that we've got it... Okay. Storage room key. Oh dear. We've just hit an auto save. So clearly, clearly something is afoot. But yeah guys, let me know. Jin especially. Does the stream actually look to um, be of a slightly better quality tonight? I'm not noticing a difference, but I am watching on my phone. Okay. Just wondering. Does the stream look higher quality tonight for anybody else watching? That's one good, because you get Chief Iron's custom pistol. I had no idea you could get that. Oh, wow. I realize I'm kind of wandering aimlessly at this point. Okay, that's the save room. Mine does look a, a bit better, but I don't know if it's because I'm looking up when I'm with a more critical eye. Okay. Share your thoughts, guys. Purely because, like I said, I will drop it back down to normal stream quality if you're not seeing a noticeable difference. There's a lot of blood in here. Blood and corpses. Give me a minute. I'm just going to... Put a cushion behind my back. Give me a second and I'll be right with you, yeah?
All right, lads. I'm back. And I'm comfy. And I'm in my shorts now. So I'm a bit cooler. Because it gets seriously hot in here. I have I have so many sets of electronics on in here. Multiple consoles. I have a desk full of electronics. Multiple consoles. Huge television. And I also have thermally insulating wallpaper. So it makes it even hotter in here. Oh yeah. When I'm gaming in here in winter it's nice and warm. When I'm gaming in here in spring and summer it turns into an oven in no time. 25 degree heat or 70 odd degrees for all you Americans. Jin says I'm dreading how long installing the mods normally take. Never had to count before there's 22. Youch. Nothing wrong with retextures, dude. I saw a comment from Adam a minute ago saying, Sorry I didn't answer Japs, I was fluffing my ass cushion. Dude, I was just putting lots of cushions behind my back. So yeah, I'm, um... I'm kind of cooling off now because I was way too warm. And I was just putting some cushions behind me for proper... neck and back support. <laughs> Because if I'm going to sit around here for at least another hour playing some more Resident Evil when I've already got a sore neck, I at least want to be comfy while I do it. And I do wonder if Suki will stop in tonight, guys. Here's hoping she does. Right. <laughs> yeah. Adam says, sometimes I have to fluff the old ass cushion because it gets stiff once in a while. Well, you don't want that. You want a nice comfy ass cushion. Right. Why do I have a feeling that a ton of corpses are going to wake up. Like, we're going to need that flash grenade ready, aren't we? We're going to have to yeet it as well. Just as an insurance policy. I've managed to find one that replaces Raiden's Robo and with Raiden's... Oh, sorry, Snake's rubber hands are Raiden. Speak, speak of the lass and she shall appear. Rar indeed. Hey, Suki. Pull up a seat. Sorry that there's been multiple streams dropping into your alerts. Because I've been trying to hold a stream all... all well, all this time. And my ISP just wouldn't hold up. Flash grenade. Now we just need to get um, mommy back and a couple of other. Okay, that did make me jump. I stayed up till 1 p.m. Jeez, without sleeping at all. Take it steady, lass. Probably the weather, eh? More than likely. Don't reckon he's getting up. Without sleeping at all, yeah. You need to take it easy. Get some proper rest if you can. I know it's not always easy, but do your best. Do your best. Why do I have a feeling that all these zombies are going to get up now? And they're going to try and give us the cranking shaft. Uh, 
And Pappy Mew just scared me. The, scared me the hell out of me. Oh, mischievous Mew has been mischievous. Just finished laughing because I mistakenly heard Silver say, back, sack, and crack. No, nah, it's the cranking shaft. It's the legendary cranking shaft. I knew, I knew the guy was in the locker, but didn't want to ruin your reaction. Yeah, that did actually give me a little bit of a jump scare. It's one of those first time round moments. Been up five days now, lads, and I got a lot of work to do yet for my mom. Wow. Adam, you need to rest. You really need to rest. Insomnia and the latest Final Fantasy patch. Why am I hitting a save point? I am concerned. What the hell is this? Oh my god, I've seen this vision before. Bloody hell, it's a hunter. Oh, bloody hell, it's a hunter. Oh, you look nasty. Oh god. Okay, that was dangerous, and it did take up a lot of my ammo, but hunters are meant to be a bit more threatening than that. I just emptied about two clips of assault rifle into its face, and it's dead now. But the problem is, the problem is, yeah, the problem is... If another one pops up, I'm not going to have enough ammo for it. So we'll probably have to lob a flash grenade and run. Yeah, it wasn't too dangerous on its... Yeah, it wasn't too dangerous, not on, not on its own. But... It took a lot of ammo. Okay, I do like I do like the hunters, the designs and the way they zip around the corridor. Uh, corridor are cool, but I don't have the resources to take them all on. I've got a flash grenade; I could stun them. What if I told you it can one hit you? Yeah, now I'm fucking worried. Now I'm fucking worried. Yeah. Now you've got me concerned. I mean, they used to be able to one-shot you in the original game as well. So that's nothing new. I mean, of course they've carried that over, because why wouldn't they? Yeah, that's what I thought. And now I'm a bit more concerned. If all it takes is to empty two clips of machine gun into its face, then... That's not a problem. That's not a threat. And it's not an issue. Well, on its own. But if it can one-hit me by getting close, then yeah. Problem. My dude, um... You... Unloaded 80 bullets into the thing. You can't afford to do that every time. Jonathan's right. This is the one... Right? Can I be honest? I've heard all these people complaining... Saying, I've got too much ammo, I've got too much ammo. My ammo supply is limitless, etc, etc. Yet, I'm not finding that with Carlos. I'm actually having ammo conservation problems with Carlos. I'm short on equipment. Jill, yeah, okay, I've got a lot of ammo. Because I've been stockpiling like I usually would. But as far as Carlos is concerned, I'm actually short on ammo. So all those people who have been fucking bitching 
and you know complaining yeah now correct me if I'm wrong guys but those of you who have played it yeah it has its shortcomings compared to 2 remake but a lot of the complaints people have made have been rather overblown don't you think tell me that honestly as Resident Evil fans give me your honest opinions because I feel like some of these compl yeah, some of these complaints are quite valid, but some have also been really overblown, if you ask me. Jonathan's right, and I can tell you exactly how many hunters are in the hospital. Yeah, I think so. See? All those people complaining, spoiling your fun. And then when it comes down to it, you actually play a shoot yourself and it's fairly enjoyable. Yeah, it's not as good as Resident Evil 2 Remake, but it's still really damn good. You know, despite its shortcomings. It could have done with having a bit more in it. From place to place. But hey, I'm not going to criticise yet, I haven't finished it. That's what tonight's stream's for. You do get a good chunk at the end of the hospital, though. That's good. Glad to hear it. Am I going to have to fight more of these fuckers before we can get back to Jill? Why do I have a feeling he's going to get through? I'm not a kicking, um... I'm not a kick in the ass of Final Fantasy boss fight, and I've enjoyed it. Defo going to replay it. Oh, sorry, I thought that said Final Fantasy then. Sorry, I've got Final Fantasy on the brain. Yeah. That's what I'll be doing as soon as I've finished this game on standard for the stream. I'll be replaying it on my own on hardcore. And then we'll be going back to our usual stream schedule of Resident Evil 2 Remake. With some San Andreas thrown in. Oh, and just for Jin, we're bringing back Dark Souls as well. Because he asked the other night, he was like, Silver, when in the hell are you going to bring back Dark Souls? So I was like, okay, we can bring back Dark Souls. Hey, Mommy's back. We should probably save some of these for Jill, right? I assume we should. Hey, welcome back. Hopefully the stream's a bit more stable now. I'm really sorry it cut off. My internet service provider just decided to die. Good. Right. We're in. Is there any more ammo while we're here? Handgun ammo will save for Jill. Assault rifle ammo Carlos is going to need. Right. You seeing Phantom Final Fantasy and Suki's arrival seems oddly coincidental. Yeah. He and remember to call me Monica. Yeah, sorry, sorry. Some people don't like me using their offline names. Alrighty. Sorry, Monica. Um, do you still want that Discord link, by the way? Because I'll send you it now if you want. Oh, but, yeah, actually, I'll do it now. Because I owe Adam a Discord link as well. So I'll send one out for both of you. 
Okay, we're taking a quick five minute break, guys, while I send out Discord links for people. So sit back, grab a snack of your choosing, and we'll chat for five minutes while I do that. Because then that way I can chat with you all, we can discuss games, you can suggest things for me to play. Because I'm kind of taking this thing seriously now and I'm almost a proper YouTube channel, given the amount of stuff I've got up. <clears throat> that, and we also need to decide what to play for the 150 sub special. Right. <clears throat> that is if you guys still want Discord links, right? And I could have sworn I owe Adam a Discord link. I said I'd get him one. Give me a minute. When we swap back to Jill, I'm also going to have to go grab some water. So you'll have to excuse me. Because I am a bit dehydrated. Because I am constantly fucking thirsty. And my medicine also makes me very, very thirsty. So, yeah. I think you should play GTA 5 for the 150 sub special. I would, but the problem is I don't think I'm going to have enough space to set it up on the PlayStation, dude. It's a good suggestion, though. Give me a minute. I'll see what I can do, considering that Final Fantasy 7 is going to take up about 100 gigabytes of space. But that is a good suggestion. No, 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 dude, I'm, I'm not going to discredit it just yet, don't worry. And MGS5. I'd say San Andreas, it just makes sense to me. Yeah, a lot of people like GTA. <clears throat> oh, wow. When your, own stre when your own stream turns up in your recommended, would you look at that? Any other suggestions, guys? I'm open to everyone's suggestions. We've had GTA 5 as a suggestion. We've had Metal Gear Solid 5. Alright, I'll get these Discord links now. Hold on. Everything's switched on. Because <clears throat> I don't run Discord through my phone or anything. <clears throat> because my phone is old school. Well, it's Well, it's old and it's not very good. Well, not an old model, it's just an older phone, and it's, it's not very good. Right, okay. Alrighty. First one I'll throw in for Adam, and then I'll throw the next one in for Monica, because they're custom set for a single invite. So, so long as it wants to load... Come on, Discord, don't be a penis. There we go. Right. <laughs> hey, Jin, this'll give you a giggle. Iriku's on live on... Ir uh, uh, Iriku's online on Discord. Don't worry, I won't tell her you're here. You can continue to hide under the table from her. It's probably a good choice. Still think you'd love The Witcher. Might give that a try as well. Right. Okay. Invite people. Edit invite link. Expires after 30 minutes. Generate new link. Copy. Right. Go live on my own stream because I'm a dirty little shill. Could you guys be super awesome and leave me a like please? It would totally help the algorithms. More than you could possibly realize. Okay. Discord link incoming in 3, 2, 1. And there you go.
So both Adam and Monica should be able to grab that and get into this Discord no problem. I'll wait until you're both in. I'm just looking at all the comments you guys have made in commemoration of the 150 sub count. I needed I needed Mary to tell me I'm not the father like 10 years ago. <laughs> Awesome. Right, we got Adam. Welcome, welcome. And we've got Monica as well. Marvelous. Hey, our little Discord's he like getting really lively. There's like 14 members now, which is great. Good. Now that you're all here, I can chat with you. I can send you video links. We can talk about anime. Good. Welcome, both of you. It's nice to have you here. If you have any more suggestions for the 150 sub live stream, then be super awesome and let me know. That's actually me in the picture. Dude, I'm loving the beard. I'm loving the beard, Adam. Hey, can I sell my shit here? No comment, Snake. No comment. That guy. That guy, like, fucking Steam Keys. Hello. Hello to both of you. Right. Okay. Now, we will be streaming again tomorrow. Depending on whether we finish... Resident Evil 3 or not. I'm going to log out of the Discord now and we'll keep playing the game. Yeah. God, that reminds me. I need to give Suki an invite as well. Yeah, you might be surprised to realize that Suki isn't even in here. And that must really surprise you. Yeah, no Suki. For some bizarre reason. Yeah, out of everybody you would think would be in here, Suki is not in the community discord. God, seriously though, Snake, that dude who was trying to sell Steam Keys. I have no words. That guy was annoying. Like, can I sell my shit in here? Oh yeah, I'm gonna sell Steam Keys in here. No, you're not. Ban. Be gone. You are not selling random steam keys in here without first telling me what the hell they are. For all I know, it might be Porno Simulator 2020. Right, let's get back to it, shall we? So yeah, we'll be streaming again tomorrow. Usual stream time is either 5 or 6 p.m. Eastern Standard. They're going to get through now. <laughs> yeah, I was just making that up. It was just a it was just a made-up game name. But would you be surprised if it was Porno Simulator 2020? Or it could be Crank and Shaft Simulator 2020. Hashtag Crank and Shaft. Yes. Hashtag Crank and Shaft in the chat, please, guys. You know you want to crank some shaft. Right, we're almost back at the reception. Right. Hey, Jared's here. What's up, dude? What's up? Thanks for stopping in. Now, could all you guys be super awesome and leave me a like?
because you'd be surprised how much it really does help the channel every time you leave a like and stop in to watch the stream for a half hour. Yeah, my my in my service provider got really really weird a little while ago and died for about an hour. So hopefully this stream should be stable now. Already left one, my friend. Thank you, Snake. By the way, might I just say it's a joy to have you here? I always start to worry about you guys when you're absent for like a week or two. I don't want anything to happen to any of you guys. We're building a nice little community here and you're all welcome. <laughs> Hashtag crank and shaft. Hashtag nemesis rack. Yep. Right. Why do I have a bad feeling that something's going to happen here? Hi, Jill. <laughs> You're one of the most chilled streamers. You know what, Jared? I'm going to take that as a compliment. And you, my friend, are a really nice guy. Thank you. I can tell you're going to fit in nicely here. Me? Of course I'm laid back. Well, Jin will tell you that I... That I, that I have a very high stress lifestyle, but I always try to be laid back on stream. I always try to be as laid back as possible when I'm streaming. Thank you as well. Pleasure's all mine. Right, hold on. Is that door bolted shut? It would seem it is. Right, okay. I need to figure out what the heck we're meant to be doing. Actually, let's let's deposit some items. Conserve a bit of ammo, just in case we have to you know, fight Nemesis again. Because he won't stop until he has us seeing stars. Oh wait, there's no item box in here. You know, I don't see why you can't just shoot the bolts. Because that would be common sense. And when do you ever do anything common sense in a Resident Evil game? That's just sacrilege. Right. We'll store a clip's worth of ammunition in the storage box. Just to be on the safe side. That way we'll have a... You see... All those people that were bitching that this game was bad, I'm not with them. Oh, they're still talking about the horrible Xbox Series X. Uh, don't let yourself get wrapped up in console wars, Martin. Thanks for stopping in, though, dude. It's nice to have you. Right. We're going to conserve as much stuff as we can. So, all those people that were like, I've got too much ammo, clearly you're exaggerating. Right, because I'm having to stockpile here. Two first aid sprays, two flash grenades, two mixed herbs, a clip of assault rifle ammo. Remember when everyone hated on COD Ghosts? I wouldn't know, I don't play those. Um. Right, okay. Let's keep on rolling, shall we? Just like Limp Biscuit. Oh my god. 
question. How many of you guys in chat saw the video when I was in the club with that drink singing along to Link Biscuit? Like, seriously. Is Project Resistance any good? I don't know. I've got no intention of playing it, really. I'm not really bothered about the online portion of this game. I'm here for the story. <laughs> Snake and Adam saw it. Okay, so two of you saw me humiliate myself while I was drinking Southern Comfort. It was funny as hell. Hey, I was having a good night, what can I say? I was out with friends and family. It was good. Right. Clearly I'm not going everywhere that needs to be explored. Right. Let's try this again. Consoles versus other consoles versus PC is all personal preferences. I just let people be. Me too, Jin. Me too. Hey, Suki's back. Everybody welcome Suki. Make her feel welcome. Right. Yeah, I don't mind. Personally, I love PS... I love PlayStation. I was PlayStation all my life. In the previous generation, I transitioned over to Xbox 360. Swiftly changed my mind. Went back to PlayStation. Picked up a PS3 at the end of its life cycle. Then got a PS4. And I've never really looked back. I just love PlayStation. Because it's simple and good. Both in game and in chat. Now we've just been talking amongst ourselves about video games and random stuff. And I gave I gave Adam and Monica invites into the community Discord. Is this the door we need to go into? Is it? Where do I need to be? Right? Suki, just explain to everybody in chat how bad my sense of direction is. Diablo 3? Sadly, dude, I don't even own it. Like, right? Guys, all those people that were complaining, right? I've pretty much debunked two of the big complaints right here. Yeah? Everyone, everyone was saying like, Oh yeah, this game is too linear. I'm getting lost in a series of simple hallways. And, oh, I've got too much ammo. I'm just mowing through enemies. I'm running short on ammo and having to conserve bullets as Carlos. So, you need to be upstairs. Thank you, Monica. Most appreciated. You are awesome. Pat on the back. Right. Right. Let's try and get this figured out. Because I have the coordination of an alcoholic behind a steering wheel. <laughs> Your direction is so bad you'd get lost skydiving. Oh, Jonathan, I bloody love that. That's hilarious. So bad you'd get lost skydiving. I think that's one of the best comments I've ever heard. I'm not even going to take that as an insult. It's marvellous. Mate, how long have you had Evil Within 2 and not played it? Um, My sister bought me it two Christmases ago. And I only took it out of the shrink wrap about a week ago. And couldn't install it because I, I didn't have enough space on the PS4. I'm having to try and free up a hundred gigabytes of space for Final Fantasy VII Remake. I I said to myself I was going to finish Resident Evil 3 Remake before I started the the first um you know before I started Final Fantasy VII Remake. Uh, Suki, I have finished the first Evil Within. I finished the first one. Sorry, my mum had to 
left her phone in someone's car and I had to use mine to get a hold of her but I'm back. No problem dude. Without me. Yeah. Oh no. She's caught me now I'm in trouble. I'm sorry Suki. I'd say what we'll do, we'll finish it together sometime, yeah? We'll sit down together and finish it together. Promise. Me and you. Just like when you sat down with me and we played Nier Automata together. Well, you played it for me. This isn't going to end well, is it? We've got two guys. Sounds to me like you need an external hard drive. Oh, no, no, don't say that with Suki in here. Because she's about to come out with Jin. I've been telling him that for two years. And she has. And I haven't bought one. Spray and pray, baby. Spray and pray. That'll do. I'll take that. Hello, fuck nugget. Come hither. Come hither, good sir. Shakespeare would like to... You and your fucking dodge mechanics. Any more? Come on. Come on. Stop being a prick. Stand still. Stand still. No. Would you... Would you stop Michael Jackson walking? Please. The King of Pop would blush at your bullshit. Come. Oh, you motherfucker. I swear. Come here. Oh. Same thing. Same thing, Suki, same thing. He's still been a unanimous prick. Should have listened to you, daft shite. Agreed, Jin. Agreed. Right, come here. You're a giant penis. And I'm getting a bit annoyed with your bullshit. Down. Press R1 to fuck him up. Yeah, I know, right? Oh, yeah, Carlos has that shoulder tackle. How the hell... Oh, God, that gave me a heart attack. You're an even bigger penis. Get off. Stop chewing, Carlos. It's not good for his emotional well-being. What a fucking dick. My poor health bar. We're getting rammed here. Right. Come on. You are a dick. Thank you. Go down. For a minute there, I was getting worried I'd have to unzip my trousers and slap you with my junk. Now you're not getting back up. Good boy. Stay. Right. Assault rifle ammo. Thank the gaming gods. Marvelous. Dead patients. She's not getting up yet, but she will. Karaoke at 150? Yeah. If I tried to sing karaoke, every single one of my subs would leave me. Not gonna happen. He needed a nibble. I'ma get going. No problem, Adam. No problem. You take it easy, my dude, and thank you as always for stopping in. Oh, you're always welcome here, my dude. If you ever need a place to go, then 
You know you're always welcome here. Yeah, take care, my dude. Everybody wish Adam a good evening. Awesome. Right. Question. Would you guys be down for watching a Telltale game at 150 subs? I wouldn't mind playing one of the Telltale games. The Walking Dead game, maybe. Oh, shite. Right. Stay down, bitch nipples. Come on. God, the knife is useless. Keep stabbing. There we go. See, that's one thing I miss about 2 Remake. Knives were disposable, but they were so much more... Oh, no, 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 no. Fucking dude didn't even stun, right? I want to make a point, yeah? Oh, get off me. You're a giant schlong. You are the biggest, floppiest winky that I have ever come across. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. I dislike this behavior. Go and sit in a corner and think about what you've done, you giant bastard. Alright. Red herb, nice. I would fucking love a Telltale game. The Walking Dead, Wolf Among Us, I love them. Yeah, I must admit I'd be down for a Telltale game. So long, farewell. Yeah. Right? Can I make a point in regards to all of the complaints people are making? I've got too much ammo. I'm not having to conserve ammo. I'm literally running short on ammo as Carlos. The enemies are weaker than they were before. That zombie just took eight bullets and multiple stabbings to put down. Oh god. Another one. Stay in there. Stay in there. Oh god. Oh god, no. No, 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 no. We don't need any of that. Like, I am literally debunking all of these complaints as we play. Lock and load, baby. What did I say last night when we talked? Yeah, I know, you said don't let it bother you. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, 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 Carlos, baby boy, no. No. Stop taking what other what others say to heart and play the damn game. You're hyper focused on what other people are saying. Yeah, because I'm really enjoying this. I'm really enjoying this for myself. It's a good game. Whatever people say, I'm really enjoying it. Also keep in mind you're using your ammo and not conserving. As Carlos, yeah. As Jill, I've got fucking tons of it. Alright. Oh, 
We're going to die again at this rate. Wow, guys. That zombie has one hell of a receding hairline. You can serve it. You end up with stockpiles. I know how it works, dear. I know. I've played two a lot. A lot, a lot. I think we need to put this zombie out of his misery. Have you seen his hairline? Good God, I'd want to be shot if I had a hairline like that. I mean... Look at... Look at that. Look at that. Can we have an RIP hairline in chat? Can we please have an RIP hairline in chat? That thing is like... It's like someone's fucking cleaved a pathway through his hairline. Poor zombie. Just casually joins the live chat after a nap. R.I.P. hairline in chat. Because I'm about to smack you, sir. Sorry, Suki. Sorry. Alright. Let's keep going, shall we? R.I.P. hairline. Thank you. That right there is literally why I grow my hair long and only cut it once a year. Because I enjoy my nice long hair and I am going to treasure it for as long as I humanly can until I lose the battle with getting old. Rip hairline, indeed. That hairline is so receded the T-virus hasn't managed to get to it yet. I know, right? Hairline gone but not forgotten. Fuck me. Right. Okay. Safe. I imagine we need to be in that storeroom. Oh god. Don't you. There's two of them in there? Fuck, 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 fuck. Strategic withdrawal. Strategic withdrawal. You've heard the saying the British are coming. Well, in this case, the British are fucking leaving. There's two of the bastards. Be gone. Be gone. Be gone, hell demon. I do not want. I do not want. Come here. Come here. <laughs> LeBron hairline. <laughs> Jamie says, I can't say much about hairlines. My hair's similar to Carlos's at the minute. Helmet hair. Ah, right, right. I love it. How we've just been running around in this hospital. My hairline is shitty too, though. Now I feel bad. Oh, now I feel genuinely bad. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. You see, guys, I've been paranoid about aging since I hit 21. I'm one of those guys that the second I hit 21, I started to worry about aging horrendously, even though I'm still in my 20s. And, you know, I'm not having any problems as far as that's concerned. I have a couple of silver hairs in my head, but they're literally from stress. <laughs> Hashtag long live colonialism. Indeed. Rule Britannia. Something something along those lines. Uh, shite. She's not getting back up. GTA 5 taught me to be scared of middle age. I'm sure it did. I am absolutely sure it did. Because even though I haven't played it myself... I'm still vaguely familiar with the storyline. For real though. Uh... 
We're there. I hit, I hit 30 and my hair started to fuck right off. Who said that? That's partially scrolled up. Who, who am I missing? Because if that's Jin, I don't believe it. If that is Jin, I, I physically do not believe it to be humanly possible. You have the longest, luscious hair known to mankind. It is physically impossible for your hair to be going anywhere. Like, I envy your hair. I say to my, I say to my friends, I wish I had Jin's hair. Oh, that was me. Ah, uh, okay. Right. Just che just checking it wasn't Jin. God, I am so sorry. This conversation has just descended into singing British songs and talking about hairlines. I just have a regular big ass for <laughs> big ass forehead. Ah. Okay. All right. Right, I get that we're running around in circles and not making any real progress, but for any of you that are new here, uh, while we talk random shit as well, for any of you that are new here, any of the regulars will tell you that this is just a, this is just a normal silver stream. We talk shit for about two or three hours, don't make anything in the way of progress. And then I'm like, I'll see you in the next one, guys. And then we go from talking about hairline to something like hot dogs to something about Twitch cam thoughts. We literally had a discussion about Twitch cam thoughts the other week. It was really weird. Speaking of which, Jin and Jonathan. My forehead is a landing strip. Did someone mention my hair? Yes, Jin, you have the most beautiful hair known to mankind. If I didn't if I didn't have to deal with your wife, I would want to marry your hair. You have the most beautiful hair known to man. It is my senpai and I want it to notice me. No homo, of course. As for you, good, good, down, and down, right, reload, okay, doesn't look like we're dealing with any more problems from those two, you flexing bastard, I know this is a bit of a flex, but Hairdressers always compliment the quality of my hair. Yes, that was a bit of a flex, but since I know you so well, and you did once recommend the... Was it the Aberdeen Angus to me? When I went to Burger King? I, w I am willing to forgive anything that you flex about. Excuse me. Did you just did you just presume his hair is gender? Oh no, oh no! His hairline is hashtag triggered. Oh dear, oh dearie dearie me! I like it. You cheap bastard! Have one of those. Oh, it worked. How many women on the old forum fancied me and it mainly centered on my hair. Yeah, that's pretty, pretty accurate. A lot of them did. Oh, wow. It's like the start of an adult video. Two hunters, one grenade.
Marvelous. I don't know about you guys, but that one there looks a bit dead. The name Aberdeen, the name Aberdeen gives me bad memories. Audio cassette tip. Have you been to Aberdeen, Snake? Right. Okay. We got it. Marvelous. Right. Can I just ask any of you guys that haven't, you know, dropped a like already to leave a like? And may I also let you all know, every single one of you, that you are all absolutely beautiful for stopping in tonight. And I really do appreciate it. And on that note, let's get out of here. Away from all these hunters. God, they do look nasty. But in all the right ways. Thank you. And you are quite welcome, Monica. Even Johnny called me a beautiful man. Yo, Jin. I still have that photograph. Remember when we were out the front of the hotel? Um, like, after that first night we'd met up to go drinking. And that dude literally stood behind you. Uh, literally stood in front of you. And draped your hair over his bald head for that photograph. Because I'll tell you something now. I still have that photograph. And if you want me to send you it, I'll send it on the over Discord so you can so you can show the misses. There's a there's an Aberdeen pig farm. Oh, I didn't know that. Consider me enlightened. Give me a second, I have to scratch my ear. Right, okay. I imagine we'll be transitioning back to Jill shortly, right? Oh, that's, that's my guess, at least. Uh... Anything else to pick up in here? That's locked, so I imagine it's going to be Jill that's going to need to get in there with her masterful lockpick. Put it on the Discord. I will, my dude. I will, don't worry. You have to go back through the sc um, that scary room. Oh, joy. Joy of joy. Thank you, Monica. Right. Take a couple in the back. Down you go. Good lass. Where those creatures came out of. All right. No problem. All righty, all righty. That reminds me. Bloody, bloody hunter there. I am so lucky that missed me. Alley up. Skip that should keep it distracted for a minute. Fucking run. Run. Don't think. Just run. Do 
Down the stairs we go. Right. And checkpoint. Marvellous. We're making a hasty retreat. Okay. Yeah. That's looking about right to me. Emergency entrance. Operating room. We'll save all this stuff for Jill. She's probably going to need it. Yeah. Oh no, we can't go back this way. Great. Way to go, Silver. Don't do anything sensible. God forbid, that would be too much for you, doing something sensible. Deary, deary me. Yep, yep. I knew that was coming. We are going to completely ignore it. It, it, made, it made me jump regardless. Okay. Let's get in there. All I wanted to know was what the documents were doing in your office in the first place. Who do you think you're talking to? I'm goddamn Nathaniel Bard. I'm the best biologist you'll ever meet, you bedpan-changing waste of a nursing degree. Of course I have connections higher up. Of course the military consults with me on projects beyond your comprehension. So stop wasting my time with your nosy questions. I... Uh, I'm sorry, Doctor. You didn't read the documents, did you? No, I shredded them just like you asked. Good. Good. If that's all, you can go back to wiping your patient's ass. That's what they pay you for, right? And polish my shoes. Yes, sir. I bet you know a lot about polishing, don't you? Now fuck off and don't say a word to anyone. Fuck me, he's a nasty piece of work. Like, fuck me, he's a real fucking asshole. Who talks to a nurse like that? Who talks to a fucking nurse like that? Really? Really? Come on. Who talks to a nurse like that? I've spent a lot of time in hospital in my life. And I am eternally grateful to the nurses who have taken care of me while I've been in there. So who talks to a nurse like that? Really? Yeah, who talks to a woman like that? Exactly. Exactly. I wouldn't dream of speaking to any woman like that. Not any of not any of my lady friends. Wow. And it's what a douche. Not any woman in general. Christ, half the women I know, if I tried to speak to them like that, they'd slap me in the face. And rightfully so. I bet he's dead now, isn't he? Bard. Dead. Tyrell. Bard's dead. He's been shot. Shit. And the vaccine? I'm looking. Well, look harder. There's gotta be a computer, right? Right. Goddamn Nathaniel Bard, that's who. Banquet invitation. Dear Dr. Bard, it is my pleasure to cordially invite you to a banquet on September 10th at Central Hotel where we will be exchanging viewpoints on Raccoon City's new special medical zone. Attending will be Mayor Michael Warren, Chief of Police Brian Irons, and other distinguished members of the community. Thursday, September 12th, uh, sorry, Thursday, September 10th, can't read numbers properly, because brain, uh, 1998, 6pm, yeah, that was right, Thursday, September 10th, 1998. The Orient Restaurant, the Central Hotel's second floor. We would be honoured if you joined us. Sincerely, Greg Tester, United States Senator. Handwritten note. Nate, 
I'll be introducing the bill um, for that new drug of yours in mid-August. Bring the cash. We've looked. Um, we've booked a suite for the usual after party. You're a brunette guy, right? I'll let Irons know. Fuck me. <laughs> Letter time with Silver. Indeed. If you drop your stream here, your next stream will be two hours long. Starting my fourth um, run in this right now. Hell yeah. I'll keep going until the two hour mark and then I'll stop. That's the plan of action. Because it took long enough keeping the stream running. And, th and those of you guys who watch this channel... You've come to notice something by now, I'm guessing. That is that I run some seriously long streams. And two hours isn't even a long stream for me. Regulars in chat. How long is a... How long is a long stream on this channel? Do indulge. Umbrella. Email from... Nathaniel Bard. I'll see you guys later. Have a good evening or night, everyone. Thanks, Jared. You feel free to pop in any time, my dude. You're always welcome here. Thank you. I'll see you again soon, yeah? Keep being awesome. Right. Greg, I know you're watching the news. The virus is going to devour the whole country. The dead will wash over Capitol Hill like a tidal wave. You're not safe. However, you've always been a good friend to me, so I'd like to offer you a way out. I have in my possession one dose of a vaccine for the virus, the Holy Grail, and it's not for my family, not for my ladies on the side. No, Greg, I'm saving it for you. I know better than anyone, you're the future of the United States, but if you want the goods, Greg, you have to... Get the hell out of the um here now without umbrella finding out. Yep, six plus hours. Yep, a long stream on this channel is about six hours. A normal size stream is about four, and a short stream is about two. Yeah. Lean on the Pentagon for me. I know you've got the clout. See if someone can get um a rescue team in here without UBC um, CS involvement. You scratch my back, I scratch yours, which should sound pretty chase after the parties we've been to. Hurry, my time's running out. Nate. This is VRC Chief Nathaniel Bard, September 29, 11 p.m. Acutely aware that my time's running out. And I hope and pray by making this recording and bringing the truth to light that I can restore some small shred of honor to my name. All of Raccoon City's suffering began with the release of a biological weapon known as the T virus. My employer, the Umbrella Corporation, engineered this virus. And they ordered my team to develop a vaccine, which we did. Now, I keep samples of this vaccine here in my office. The rest of it is stored underground. But those sons of bitches at the board, they want to destroy it. They don't want the world to know what they've done. So they're trying to erase all evidence that the virus ever existed. No, I'm not a fool. I know they don't want me to... My money's on Nikolai shooting him. It's got to be Nikolai. Nikolai was always an assassin. Streams of all along. And she trusted me anyway. Fuck! <laughs> That's one way to open a fucking door, Carlos. Magical. 
Streams of four years, six months, three weeks, four days, 22 hours, 59 minutes and 54 seconds normally. Yes, every time I stream I age four years. Is it here? Vaccine sample. Which means in a few more streams I will be an ancient creature. Right. Okay. T, I got it. Good. I'm headed your way. Be careful. Careful? <laughs> Have you seen this town? It'll be a fucking miracle if I get there in one piece. <laughs> I like the fact that Tyrell is is still around and helping Carlos. He was a very minor character in the original Resident Evil 3. So minor, in fact, that you only really saw him in one route. Depending on the actions that you took. So it's nice to see him actually here as a supporting character with some genuine stream time, uh, screen time. Fuck me. English language. Not my strong point. Despite the fact that I'm, um... That I'm a writer by hobby. Oh dear. Nope. We'll just avoid that, shall we? Post haste. None of that hunter business. Keep running. Keep running. Oh god, it closed in on me. Would you bugger off? Okay, let's do this. Get to jail. There we go. Uh, okay, tape recording has been used. Uh, ID card has also been used. Discard both. And let's take Suki's earlier advice. Give her the good stuff. Oh, it would be my distinct pleasure. It would be my distinct pleasure to give Jill Valentine the good stuff. I'm sure it would be a lot of people's distinct pleasure to give Jill Valentine the good stuff. Be they ladies or gentlemen, actually. Right. Um, okay. Heal up. Probably going to need it. And I'd say that's looking good. All right, let's let's give Jill the vaccine. She's gonna need it. It's gonna hurt. She's the only person out of a city of a hundred thousand people that got a vaccine. Feel lucky, Jill. There's still people in the city. They're gonna nuke you know the Sam fucker. Gives a shit? Fuck. Here they come. Oh, you sit tight. I got this. Oh no. Sounds like there's a lot of them out there. It gives us fair warning. Better grab some gear. There be a lot of them bitches out there. Yeah. That hunter just wanted to be friends. Yeah, I bet he did. And you know what? Let's chat for ten minutes, guys, shall we? And then we'll call that our stream wind down. 
and we'll pick up where we left off tomorrow. We'll finish off Resident Evil 3 tomorrow. Get ready to fuck, fuck, fuck shit up. Sounds fine, but... What should we do? Should we wind down the stream here? Or should we go full auto with Carlos? Because I think this would be a good place to leave off and pick up tomorrow. So we'll auto all the way. I'm waiting for some more votes in chat. What do you want me to do, guys? What do you want me to do? Indulge me. Because I'm quite happy to just chat with you guys for ten more minutes. And then pick up tomorrow. Which would mean Saturday is going to be our 150 sub special. And I'm still going to have to think on what in the heck I'm going to play. For our 150 sub special. You guys have given me so many suggestions. To be fair, it would be a good way to start next stream. You're right, it totally would. That's what I'm thinking. Bang, bang, baby. It seems like we've got a, a fair mix of votes across the board, really. So I think I'll just sit back and relax for a bit. I'll chat with you guys. It's been a it's been a while since you've had a good chat with Uncle Silver. I'm of the opinion it's up to you, man. Thank you, Jin. Thank you. So, let's chat for ten minutes, shall we? We will enjoy a nice little ten minutes of peace and quiet before I wind down the stream. Because I've been wandering aimlessly through this hospital. Which has been quite fun. So what's everybody been up to? How has your indoor life been as of late? <sighs> Big yawn. Big yawn, big yawn, big yawn. Hmm. I love it. I, I, I reckon this area was meant to be short and I've spent a full two hours in here. Because of course I had. I'm getting bored of staying in now, says Jamie. I, I'm sh I'm, I know a lot of people have, and I, I, I'm sure a lot of people are very bored of staying in, and have been very bored of staying in, but I don't see it stopping anytime soon, I'm going to be honest with you. I mean, Christ, the Prime Minister's in hospital in, crit in critical condition. Well, in what, in what they are calling stable condition, but in intensive care. So... Youch, that's not good. I've been playing VR and some some other games. Some older games, really. Ah, what kind of games, Snake? Do let me know. Doing all those odd jobs around the house. Re-roofing the shed. And in the process of painting the fence. Somebody's been busy. Somebody has certainly been busy there, Jonathan. Hey, when quarantine's over, do you want to come and fix my? Do you want to come and fix my roof and paint my fence? Hearing Morpheus' voice again almost brings a tear to my eye. Morpheus, help me out here. My brain's gone blank. Do I know this, and have I just forgotten because it's so late? Do indulge. Do indulge. <sighs> Putting my joinery skills to use around the house. Sounds like you've all had very, very eventful days. 
I've just been rendering more time splitters videos for the channel. I've also finished an essay today, and that's going to have to be submitted tomorrow. And then I'm going to have to start another one. Or something along those lines. It's more of a research project for a dissertation. And what else did I do today? You know, I can't remember. But yeah. Oh, I lifted the, I lifted the TV remote a few times as well. There's my exercise for the day. I lifted the TV remote. That's always good. GTA 4, Bully, Arizona, Sunshine. Gotta love Bully. Like I said, I have played it. I have played it before, just haven't gotten very far. And everyone likes a bit of GTA 4. I've seen other people play it. I've not really played much of it. Like I said, I've played about the first hour or so. But I've seen other people play it. And I've done a couple of missions and it seems really good. Well, I played the... The first couple of missions years ago with my cousin when I was like 19. Morpho is the chopper pilot from Metal Gear Solid Ground Zeroes. Ah, okay. Okay. You know, I had an air bubble stuck in my chest, or in my stomach. I leaned forward and I accidentally burped and it just came out and I don't feel sick anymore. I hate getting air bubbles stuck in my stomach. I've been playing Until Dawn for about the hundredth time. Until Dawn is such a good game, Jamie. So good. Hey guys, do you want me to play Until Dawn for the 150 sub special? I'll play that for you. Had to just ditch the mod that swaps the model, but keep the voice lines. Ah, okay. <laughs> Roman Bellic. <laughs> yes. Yeah, is anybody interested in watching me play Until Dawn for the 150 sub special? I'll do that. I will happily do that, in fact. I love that game. Me and Suki played it together on release day. We... I had it pre-ordered. I... went to the game store with her. And... We... pretty much... Eh, Snake says I'm down. Jonathan says I would like that. So yeah. Yeah, we played it together on release day, actually. So, Snake says yes. Jonathan says yes. Looks like it's Until Dawn, then. Yeah, sure thing. I'll happily play Until Dawn for you on... For our 100, 150 sub special. I'll even put an announcement video out on the channel... Letting the whole channel know that that's the plan. And to join us for 150 subs. Uh, yeah. So that's alright. I'll get my essay done tomorrow. And then... Tomorrow night we'll finish Resident Evil 3. And then on Saturday we'll play until dawn. And I'll get a giant fucking pizza. Alright, I'll get my champagne ready. Dude, I might even take a night off my medicine so I can have a couple of drinks. To be fair. The missus wanted until dawn. Never got a hold of it. Speaking of the good lady, there she is. The good lady. Pizza! Hey there, you. What's going on? What is going on, my little Mew? How art thou? Yep. 
So it looks like we're playing Until Dawn for the 150 sub special on Saturday night then. Sounds good to me. Be sure to stop by everybody. Yeah, you put those cat boxes in chat for Suki, yeah? You know she likes them. We're just having five more minutes of chat before I wind down the stream. And then I'm going to go wind down and get some rest because I've been very, very exhausted recently. <sighs> oh, I'll definitely stop by. Glad to hear it, Snick. Glad to hear it. The next step is 200 subs. Um, in which case we'll have a 250, uh, a 200 sub special. And then, the big 250. The big 250 is when I'm going to open the Patreon. Uh, I've already decided on that. And then this dinky little channel might become a little bit more than a part-time hobby. Depends on, you know, if people are... You know, I'm more than happy to, happy and a bit willing to support my crazy little channel. I always get by on you guys in terms of your kindness and generosity. So, it's always appreciated. Just keep been here, doing what you do. No matter what happens, and it's all good. Yeah, if anybody wants to support me with me... Open the Patreon, feel free. It's always welcome. But by no means necessary, and by no means is anybody going to be missing out or, you know, be left wanting because of it. It's just something I'm going to do, and people can support me out the goodness of their hearts if they want to. One of those things. But yeah, we'll see what happens when we get there, shall we? Yeah. Can't believe we're at 150 though now. Feels like it was only a few months ago when we were on 50. I don't know if I can, but if I can, I definitely will. No pressure. No pressure whatsoever, guys. Seriously, when I do open it up and, you know, see how things go, absolutely no pressure. No obligation, no pressure. It's just, uh, it's just so uh, people who do want to support me, purely out the goodness of their own heart, like I said, and they enjoy the wacky stuff we do here, can have a small avenue to support the channel. It's going to be a flat, open donation, so, you know, donate as much or as little as you please, and just, just go with that. Really? And then after that, we'll be working up to the larger leagues, you know? 300, 400, maybe even 500 subs. Although I really don't see that. I've got to be honest, I don't... I don't see this channel getting to 1,000 subs. I'd like it to. Goodness me, would I like it to. More than anything. But, uh... We work at our own pace here. It's, um... It's, no, I say I'd like it to. But at the same time... I'm really not too bothered if it does or not, you know? It's like I said to people months ago, and I still I still stick by it, you know? The biggest sort of dream that I kind of had would be, you know, to have a, a tight little streaming community, which I already have. I've already got that, and it's awesome. Where we have maybe, I don't know, sort of like a dozen people turn up for streams most nights. Which we're getting that way now. On a good night, we're getting about eight, nine people in. And, you know, maybe have a couple of hundred subs on the channel. Which, again, we're getting to. And it's all down to you guys being awesome. Oh, come on, you can do it, says Snake. I'll just keep... I'll keep ticking along in my own lane, doing my own quirky stuff. And if we get there, we get there. I just like to have fun while I run this channel. Let me take a moment to let you all know how awesome you've been tonight as well. It's been fun having you company while I wander around this hospital aimlessly. But there are a few cons about being a bigger channel. 
Yeah, I imagine that's true. I imagine that's true. I mean, I've noticed the trolls and the bots and the arseholes at 150. So, hey. Speaking of which, guys. Does anybody want me to bring Terminator Resistance back? Because I know Jin wants me to bring back Dark Souls. Because I know a few of you guys, as quirk as kind of, you know, quirky but lovable and low budget as that game was, or mid budget. A lot of people really seem to enjoy Terminator Resistance. Let's see, tr uh, let's see trolls more often, assholes. Yeah, well, what can you do? What can you do? They always seem to bother the small channels, and I don't get that. I don't get that. But yeah, I would really like to bring Terminator Resistance back to the channel as well. It would be a good laugh, I reckon. But yeah, this has been a good stream, guys. Wandering in, we'll see around the hospital while we try and figure out what the hell is going on. We got it though, so it's all alright. I'm going to yawn. <sighs> Big yawn. So yeah. You guys have made tonight's stream awesome. Then again, you can always get the ban hammer out. I have a mod in mind. I have a mod in mind if it does come to that. Speaking of which, Jonathan and Jin, are you both still here? If it comes to a, a rundown of potential mods... Oh yes. Oh, I know you're still here, Suki. And I was about to mention that as well. There are three people, if I was going to open up the, the first mod position, when the channel gets a bit bigger. It was probably going to be one of three people. It was probably going to be... Either yourself, Jonathan, Suki, or Jin. Those were the people I were, th or you know, I, I, I was thinking about giving mod status to. So yeah, if it comes down to it, and we really need it, maybe when we get to a couple of hundred subs, I'm not sure. We'll see. We'll see. Big evil grin. Oh dear. Do we trust dear Suki with the ban hammer? Oh dear. Save us all. I can imagine who's in his mind for mods. Well, yeah, but you guys would be my main mod choices. I would um I would have given it to Malak to be honest, but Malik has been away recently. God, I do hope he's alright. Not heard from the dude in quite a while. Yeah, m my heart and my consideration go out to Malik right now. I do hope he's aw all well out there in Pakistan. So, you know. I'll be good, co I'll be good cops, um... Suki the bad cop. <laughs> that. Hey, Jin, if you, do, if you don't want to, it was only a suggestion, my dude. And it won't be until we probably get to a couple of hundred subs anyway. So, yeah. Yeah, where is Malak? I hope he's okay. I know, right, dude? I do hope he's well. We'll all have to behave... 
when the mods show up. Yes. Yes. I remember back in the day before Silver got mods, we could talk about cam thoughts and crank and shaft. Now it doesn't happen anymore because those gosh darn mods go around whacking everyone with a ban hammer. But no, it really is up to you guys. If any of you are, you know, down for the suggestion, feel free to decline. It was just a suggestion. But yeah. I still haven't bought any swords from him. I know, right? He's Malik the Swordsman. <coughs> Hammers are banned from the crank and shaft. Remember the maybe two years it took Vin to get me to agree to be in a mod on the old forum? But yeah, I do remember that. I do remember that. That is a good point. But then again, sadly Vin turned out to be a bit of a penis. Whereas, whereas I am your awesome, awesome bud from north of the wall. Oh, sorry, south of the wall. And... We put shots in pints together. And all that kind of stuff. So I think you'd be, um... You know, maybe a bit more curious towards the idea. You know? Considering that I'm not as much of a dick as she unfortunately ended up being. Not that it was entirely her fault. I have such a backlog of swords to buy and not enough money. Uh, hashtag more swords in chat, guys. Oh dear. Suki's got those ban hammers there. She's got the ban hammers. You can't trust Suki with a ban hammer. She's dangerous. Did you guys, did you guys know that she picks on me? And she bops me? And she beats me up. She's a cruel Suki. She's a cruel Suki. That's who she is. See? That big devil smile. She beats me up. That's what she does. That's why she likes Banhammers so much. That's the story. But then again, if I started Silver's Cam Thoughts, I'd probably get beaten up a lot more anyway. Chat timeouts for lols. Oh no. We're handing stream chat to a dictator. Oh dear. Deary, deary me. Nyuk, 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 nyuk. <laughs> but yeah. If anybody is down for the idea when we get to a couple of hundred subs, or if we really need it, I'll, I'll only bring you guys in if I really need it and people are causing trouble. That's really about it. I'm kidding, everyone. Yeah, I know you are. I know you are. She wasn't a dick at that point, to be fair. She never was a dick to me directly. Pathological fear of responsibility, man. Nah, I get it. Nah, I totally get it. I can... I can understand that. It's a very real and very, you know, legitimate thing for a lot of people. I totally understand it. It de For me, I think it depends on the context of the situation. Like, I can spearhead projects, no problem, and that kind of thing. Well, provided that I'm heavily, <laughs> heavily de-stressed first. Because Suki will tell you, well, sometimes, okay, sometimes I can. 
I'll stress sometimes, and it is usually a rarity, and when the, when it's no other choice kind of situation, because Suki will tell you that my stress levels are insane. I, well, I'm chill on I'm chill on stream. Stream is my chill and lay back and chat time. We are the last line of defense. We cannot fail. We cannot. Fail. We will not fail. Indeed, you are the only thing de defending my little corner of gaming from the trolls. Ah, stress levels. <sighs> We are the last day of events. Big yawn. Tired silver is tired. But yeah. I reckon this is where I'm gonna probably in about another minute or so's time. Unless you guys have some enlightening revelations to share with me. Going to wind down the stream. There are many situations I'm aware of just how unreliable I can be. Moderating on the internet is one of them. Ah, at least you're fair and honest about it, dude. At least you're fair and honest about it. That's fine by me. That is totally fine by me. No, I don't mind one way or the other. Like I said, I just... I would... I go from the perspective of... I mean, I've known you and Suki... The longest out of everybody, and as for and as for Jonathan, I know the dude. I like to think fairly well now, and I trust the dude, and he is the dude, and he reminded and he reminded us the other day that you know, Scotland is part of the United Kingdom, which is kind of savage, but hey, it's all good. So yeah, it's all right. So yeah, let me take one last moment to thank you all for stopping in tonight. You've all been absolutely awesome. Very awesome indeed. So yeah, just to reiterate before I leave, even though you haven't heard it enough already. Here's a deep question. If you were a Pokemon, what type? Psychic all the way, though I also like ice. I'm currently working on a concept album about the Book of Revelation that's as revelatory as I could be right now. Uh, I see your point. I see your point. <laughs> if, if any of those tracks go up on your YouTube channel, I'll be sure to check those out, dude. I respect savagery. Dude, you're Scottish. I know a lot of Scots do. I'd be a Snorlax. <laughs> I sleep too much. Oh, dude. In an ideal world, I would love... I would love to be a fighting Pokemon. But my favourite Pokemon of all time is Abra. Okay, guys. For those of you who have played Pokemon... Put your favourite Pokemon in chat, guys. I already know what Suki's is, but I won't spoil it. Suki, would you like to tell everybody your favourite Pokemon in the whole wide world, dearest? Yeah, and if any of those tracks from this concept album you're working on end up online, and you feel happy enough to post them, I will definitely check them out, Jin. Don't you worry. Ah. I hate Pokemon. There, I said it. 
Uh, at least you're honest. At least you're honest. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna be. I'm not gonna be mad at people for being honest. I know a lot of people that like Raichu. Suki loves Bulbasaur. Jin likes Raichu. Jonathan likes Zigzagoon and Latias. I, my, two of my favourite Pokemon are Abra and Jinx. I love Abra and Jinx. It's all all right. I want to get an Abra tattooed, but I also have to get our family crest tattooed because recently, I did some research, and I found my family crest and coat of arms. And what my uncle was once saying to me was true. About that whole thing. So yeah, I need to get that done. There are so many tattoos I want. Yes, everybody loves Bulbasaur. Anyway, guys. Yeah. If I don't make a conscious effort to end this stream in the next couple of minutes, it will go on for an eternity. And I am mighty tired. So yeah, let me thank you all for stopping in. You've all been really cool. It's been a, it's been a very good night. A very good one indeed. Heads in beds, indeed. I could definitely use some rest. As Suki said. Did anyone here play Pokemon cards for keeps in school? God, I wish I was that hardcore. I also love the Fire Ferret. I think it's called Infernus. Maybe that's a new one, I think. Because I could story time with Jin. Sleep. I tell you what. Alright. Let's all have story time with Jin. Jin, tell your story, and then it's time for bed. Because I don't want to deprive Jin of his story. Jin gets to tell his story. I'm not going to deprive any of our community members of story time. If you ever want to tell a story, you're more than welcome to. So yeah, tell your story, my dude. And then we'll wind down the stream and it'll be bedtime. Gather round, kids. Even though, literally, I don't literally mean that. Please don't copper me, YouTube. My my entire stream audience is between the age of t about 19 and 30. So I wouldn't worry about that. Let's all gather around for a quick story time with Uncle Jin before bed. <sighs> the year was 1999. I'm excited already. Gather round the campfire and sing. To kiss, to s gather round the campfire to sing our campfire song. Gotta love Cyndaquil. God, I love Cyndaquil. My sister loves Cyndaquil. It's one of her favorite Pokemon. <sighs> we are all around the campfire singing our campfire song. Indeed we are. Indeed we are. Two nine, uh, two nine year olds were playing Pokemon cards for keeps, and one of them was losing badly. I'm going to narrate Jin's story. I'm going to narrate. I can't sing, so I'll mime it instead. Good man, you do that. Story time with Uncle Jin. I realize we do the most random shit on these streams. But it's alright. And if you think we can't sing it faster, 
You're wrong. Oh, I imagine you can, my dude. I imagine you can. Enjoy my wonderfully soothing voice as I narrate Uncle Jin's story. <laughs> the kid decided to use his ultimate weapon, but then rare as hell Mew, and lost. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! I I I, I do hope that I do hope the young kid who lost this Pokemon card game for keeps didn't have a first name called Jin and a second name called Kazama because oh my goodness that is terrible my dude that's a Mew I mean for reference Suki loves Mews I'm sure she loves Mew the Pokemon she loves Mews as the Pokemon and she loves Mews in their their kitty cat form with paws and little pawsies Rather than submitting to handing over the precious Mew card, the kid hit the winner in the face, broke his nose, and ran. Goodness me. Oh my goodness me. That's, um. That child's name was Jen. <sighs> Deary me. I should be very. I should sit here like a responsible adult and say that was very unfair of you as a young Jin. Very unfair of you as a young Jin. But let's be honest. No nine-year-old played fair. No nine-year-old played fair. Dun dun dun. So wait, you one and the other little shit broke your nose? Let's um, let's get the end of story time with Uncle Jin. I'm actually quite curious. My nose is starting to feel clicky and hurty just thinking about this. No, Suki, I was a little shit. Goodness me, that poor kid. I should be ashamed. I should be, but it's Mew. It's Mew. Suki, Suki dearest, please be disappointed on my behalf. <laughs> Jamie, I never did recover from that broken nose. I oh, got my Mew. I lost and broke my wit for it. Best friend's nose. Oh, goodness me. Goodness me. Dude, dude, dude. See? If anybody else ever in a future stream wants to, you know, share story time with us, you're more than welcome. How dare you. Shame. Shame. <sighs> the only thing better than a Mew is Mew too. That's a strongly debated subject, and he is still a friend today. And as a sign of your friendship, his nose is permanently just a little bit wonky. My old man accidentally got his nose broken. It was a long time ago, though. I'm glad you're still friends. Yeah, as Suki said, but shame. I think we've learned a lot tonight. Jim was a little shite when he was in school. In school, sorry. 
Oh, I may have a few stories, but I guess we'll just have to wait. And I will eagerly await them. I will eagerly await them. I was not a violent child. Pokemon ang Pokemon I nearly misread that as angered me. With slightly bad spelling because I didn't read the CH in front of it that said changed. Yeah. Pokemon changed a lot of kids in the playground. Everybody was always trying to play for keeps with very, very badly defined versions of the rules so they could always kind of try to cheat and take somebody else's card. I was that kid who used to always sit around with his Game Boy in in school. I used to sit around with my Game Boy playing Pokemon Yellow. And then a little bit later on down the line, I got Pokemon Gold. And I had no idea what the heck I was doing, but it was still so good. I just imagine you getting up, grabbing the cards, slapping it, uh, slapping and taking off running, like, <laughs> like a bat out of hell. Not even realizing you hit hard enough to break his nose. Just took the goods <laughs> and got the fuck out. Yes, got the fuck out indeed. Ugh. <coughs> uh. Righty. Oh, I ran all the way home. Having to, not without having to sit next to him in class after that, was instantly embarrassed. Goodness. Goodness, goodness, goodness. Anyway, guys, I reckon this is where we are going to end the stream. So let me thank you all for stopping in. And let me thank Uncle Jin for that awesome, awesome story time. Next stream we'll have story time with Suki so everyone can hear about my little kid brain moment. No problem. We'll have story time with Suki next stream. You can punch super effective critical hit. Didn't find out his nose broken until the next day. So guys, let me thank you all for stopping in. And this is where we will end the stream for tonight. Oh yeah, I think so. We'll, yeah. Ending the stream for now. So, I have been Silver, your host. Have a fantastic morning, afternoon, or night, and I will see you again very soon. Take care, guys.